Today we take on Porto in the Champions League and we need to get off to a good start in the group stage. I'm confident we can get at least third because Victor Pilsen are pretty crap. But we've just got to go for it. Today we're at home against FC Porto. Roll the intro. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the NK Maribor Save. I am Cultured Left Foot and it is a pleasure to have you with me. Thank you very much if you've entered the competition thing sort of thing from last episode. And if you haven't, go and watch last episode. Get involved. We're giving away a book for free. It's the Photographic History of British Football. So if you're interested in something like that, go and answer the question from the last episode. And then we'll see. See what happens. See if you win the random draw, which will be performed live in an episode of Yet To Be Decided. Anyway, today we're playing FC Porto and in the news we have been told that we are stockpiling players and it's not very fair on everybody else. Now, I would like to say I don't think that's true, but when I do this and say people that aren't the club, yeah, I think they've got a point. Um, that's a lot of players in my B team who are out on loan. In fact, the only players that aren't out on loan are two people. Antonio Fatone, who we've bought. Um, I don't know why no one wants him on loan. He's, he's quite good, to be honest. But he's still playing for the B team. And Jörn Kelnick, And that's because he's injured for like six months. So, yes, I am stockpiling players. But at the same time, I'm helping out Slovenian football. Because they've only gone on loan to Slovenian teams. So, really, you you know, if you want Slovenia to get better at football, then let me just let me do what I'm doing, press. When I say I was getting slated and stuff, it's not you guys in the comments. You're probably really happy with what I'm doing. Anyway, I'm rambling. So, here we go. The two games in between... The Champions Playoff Final... Champions Playoff Final? That's not right. The Champions Playoff game um, were Zavadec, who drew 1-1. It was a really, really terrible game all round. We tried something new with the tactics. It didn't work. We went back to the old tactics and we won 4-1. Uh, you just can't keep a good man down. Lice Mousset, he's just scoring goals. I didn't even start him. Didn't even start him. He came off the bench and got two goals. He's just phenomenal at this level. Really, really good. Uh, we've got a pretty tough draw in the second round of the cup. We've got Olympia Ljubljana. So if we knock them out, we should win it. I mean, we should win it anyway. But I'm confident if we knock them out that we will win it. Our B team got knocked out of the cup by Domzale, which isn't surprising. According to that, they have two players in the B team. So it was the under-18s that were called up to help out. Anyway, not really that much else to discuss. Nothing happened on deadline day. There was no more incomings. Uh, there was no more outgoings. I don't think, oh, a couple of people probably went on loan. But even then, I don't think that happened on deadline day. Really, nothing else to discuss. So we're going to crack into the game. Hopefully, there'll be some use of the pro zone so you can see what I do with that. And we'll keep going. And I'll have a question for you at halftime as well. You can't win a thing with this one. Just be a nice question to get to know you guys. So, yeah, cool. Okay, we're still sticking with the 4 one 2 2 one or 4 one 2 3 formation. And we've adapted some roles. Behind my head, the two fullbacks have slightly changed. So Gleasing's now going to a fullback on attacking. But Heller, on the other side, is going to a wing back on defend. It's his more natural thing. And I am slightly worried about Porto's attacking capabilities. We have DCC and Carrich at the back. DCC is back from injury, which is really good. Takak sits in front of them as an anchor man. Holberg or Halberg is the box box midfielder. Blazic is a roaming playmaker now on the left hand side of the middle two. Sancho on the left, Muset on the right, and Cardos is up front on his own. Still playing with inside forwards because we seem to get loads of goals doing that. We can up the attackingness of the formation if we need to. We're playing. We're going to start on control. See if we can keep the ball um, and actually dominate Porto. And then we're going to, if we need to, we'll move back into the more attacking formation. But we'll we'll see how it goes. On the bench, we've got Zahovic, Green, Enderam, Mbamba, Hasby, Held, and Buffal. Porto line up in a 4-2-3-1 formation. Pretty attacking fullbacks by the looks of things. Fatty and Vinicius Rodriguez will sit in midfield. Husselhoff, Castellanes, and Junior are, look all, well, especially Junior looks very attacking. So he will be playing on their left onto our right. So he'll be against Gleasing. So that'll be interesting because we've got two players on attacking over there so there could be a lot of countering against each other on the right hand side in fact i might tell the guys to exploit the right hand side we'll see how it starts and then figure up front 
I don't really recognize any of them. I do recognize Padilla because we we're going to try and sign him, but he ended up moving to Porto. So let's kick him hard when he comes on. And the game gets underway. I have told the guys to try and exploit the right wing, so let's see if that plays off and comes to fruition. But we should hopefully be okay in this. I mean, Porto are very good. I mean, there's something about FM17 where Portuguese teams seem to be quite overpowered. As they get a corner, but Halberg picks it up and he gives it to Mousset. Oh, good boy over to Sancho. Sancho brings it forward. He's rated as the best player at the club, Sancho. So I was expecting him to do a bit better than that. But it's come to Cardos. Cardos takes the long way around. Great tackle from Fatty. And Huschelhoff brings it away. Far, I'm sure it's meant to be like Farthy or Farty or something. It wouldn't be Fatty. But that's what I'll call him. Halberg's in. Shoots. And it's an easy catch for Rudine in the FC Porto go. In goal. 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 It's a good little start from Maribor, this, though. It's, it's enjoyable. Junior. Ball in. To Cax with a headed clearer. Cardos will get there. Can we break? Let's send people forward. We're not sending people forward. Cardos is tackled. Montano gives it back to Rudine. And FC Porto are trying to assert their dominance. But Halberg picks it up. The free transfer in the summer. Who's done very well to be honest. Sancho cuts in field. Beats one. Beats two. Gets the edge of the box. Shoots. But can't get his foot around it. And curl it in. So restarting from the goal kick. To Cax wins the aerial battle again. Blazic picks it up into Sancho. Sancho moves forwards into Halberg. Halberg to Blazic. Blazic to Cardos. There was a good run from Halberg, but couldn't feed it through. But Cardos is there. He beats one into Sancho. Gets into the box. Ball to the back post. Halberg. It's a poor header, and it's an easy save for Rudine. But we're, we're playing quite well here. I mean, we're not using the right-hand side like I've told them to, but we are playing quite well. Halberg brings it forward. Back to Takak, to Blazic, to Mousset. Out wide to Gleasing. Cross in. Cardos. Good save. Sancho's there. Puts the rebound in, and that is a very, very good start. After 18 minutes then, Maribor take the lead. Gleasing with a, a really fired in cross. It was a good save from Cardos's effort, but it fell straight to Sancho, the left winger. Puts it in and gives NK Maribor the lead. Junior have a free kick for Porto. It's blocked into the wall. And he keeps it alive though. Back to Van Eermark. We need to mark up. We need to... Get tight on the players, but Junior gets their Gleeson, collects the ball as Junior just only keep it in. And there's a potential break on Maribor. Cardos has gone for an adventurous ball. Probably could have just slipped Musa in. As Karic has lost out, Figueroa is through. Great tackle from Pleld, and it's fired wide. And Karic was a bit lucky there. He's not, he really isn't a big game player. And here come Porto again to Blas. It's Fathy. Vinicius Rodriguez, that's a mouthful to say that name. I'm just going to call him Rodriguez or Vinicius, whichever one seems appropriate at the time. Blazic with the ball in. Halberg, good catch from Rudine in the Porto goal. They're starting to get into this a little bit more, so I might just change a few things up in a minute. Just get us keeping the ball, holding on to possession a little bit more. Sancho, can he get through? He does. He beats one, beats two again, finds Halberg on the edge, shoots. And it's gone in! It looked like the keeper was going to save it. But Halberg has made it 2-0 from the edge of the box. Books. I don't know what's up with my voice today. And it's wonderful stuff. Sancho gets in here. And Halberg, to pick him up on a free transfer, is unbelievable. He just pings that in. And the goalkeeper has had a howler. And he really, really should have kept that out. But we will go into the instructions. And we're going to tell the guys just to play it a little bit shorter. And retain the possession a bit more now. Just so we can see this through to half time as Cardos has picked this up and we're coming forward pretty well. That's a terrible, terrible touch. Basically just gave it to the centre back. Can we beat DCC? Hero. Absolute hero, DCC. Um, we paid a lot of money for him and he has improved our defence to no end. As Cardos comes forward, again, what can he do? Founds Halberg. Can we have another go from range? He doesn't. Gives it to Gleasing. Ball back. Mousset's there and we're 3-0 up against FC Porto. This is incredible, and you cannot keep that man down. Lois Mousset loves scoring goals. There's no other way about it. Halberg out to Gleeson. Gleeson gets round his man with absolute ease. Pings a low cross in. Mousset's there first time. Keeper's got no chance. In off the post. Wonderful stuff. Absolutely superb stuff from NK Maribor. Corner comes in to Cax wins another aerial battle. Huschelhoff brings it forward. Shot is pinballed around. Comes to figure out. Shoots. Terrible. Terrible. There's five minutes to go in the first half, and we come forward again. Cardos brings it forward. Gets the edge of the area, shoots, and he skied it over, and it was just as bad as Figueroa's last shot, to be honest. It's it. Minute into injury time, and it's it. Half time. We are playing unbelievably well. Jadon, Jadon Sancho getting all the applause at the moment. And I'm going to tell the guy, um, oh, oh, don't let your performance levels drop. He seemed to lose confidence. Okay, all right, all right, Lice, I'll just, you know, um, I'm happy. 
I'm happy, yeah. I mean, you've, you've been playing well. Keep it going. Uh, I really hope that's the right thing to say. If we have, we'll have a quick look at the pro zone uh, and stuff now. Okay, let's have a look at the average positions is generally one I go to straight away. So if we look at us with the ball, this is how we're playing. You see Gleasing's pushing up on the right. We're very right wing orientated. And I think focusing our attacks down that side is actually working quite well. If we go without the ball, we should be slightly more structured. There we go. A nice 4-1-2-3 formation. If we look at Porto, again, without the ball, as you'd expect, they're playing a relatively high line, probably similar to us. But with the ball, FC Porto, look at that. Look how much they're overloading this left-hand side. And it's not really working for them because that's where we're quite... Well, we're not quite defensive. We're quite attacking on our right-hand side. But it's obvious that our counters are working very well. I might drop Gleasing down slightly to support, just so that he's not pressuring too high, too much higher. But we'll see how that goes. Generally, passes, we can see if we're limiting them to key passes. So they've had one, one key pass that's come in here. Uh, I want to take off combinations. They've had one key pass. We've had three. Gleasing for the goal. Uh, Sancho probably for another goal, I think it was. Sancho, yeah, maybe. And uh, one to the Algeria, which probably was to um, the for the the long range goal. I can't I can't remember his name. I'm talking too much. But we are actually playing pretty well. So we've completed 213 passes. Porto have only completed 161. So we're dominating possession. And to be honest, I don't really think I should be changing anything. Uh, crosses. Let's just see how many we've actually. Oh, we've only completed four crosses. So that's not that many. But again, Porto are crossing from deep. They've had a corner they've completed. Their right-hand side's been more dangerous for crosses. And number eight, who's number eight? Uh, junior. So we might have to mark tighter for Junior. In fact, that's what we're going to do. So, oh, they've subbed him off. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Okay, well, we'll tackle him hard and we'll actually mark uh, Rodriguez tightly as well. See if that can help us out. Other than that, though, I'm not going to make any changes. What I looked at ProZone, it didn't really tell us that much because we have been dominating the game, really. And I think the scoreline reflects that, being 3-0. As Figueroa has gone down injured in the first two or three seconds of the second half. A broken nose he's got. That's going to be painful. Yeah, really, not much going on. So Cax is having a decent game. He's getting a bit tired. Sancho intercepts that ball to Cardos. Cardos brings it forward. What can he do with it? He's running really well with it, actually. Cardos out to Gleasing. Gleasing, ball in. Now, I'm worried that that's where the counter-attack will be because Rodriguez doesn't really look like he's bothered about defending. Halberg picks it up into Blazic. Blazic to Cardos. Cardos to Sancho. Sancho is trying to lose his man, but he can't. But Halberg is there for an option. Into Muset. Muset to Blazic. Blazic through to Cardos. He's in. Oh, he's put it wide. And... Noticing that Rodriguez isn't that worried about defending. I'm just going to drop Gleasing back to a support role. I might drop Muset back as well. Just so we get a little bit of uh, defensive solidarity on that right-hand side. Sancho's tackled by Fathi. And he brings it forward into Castellanos. Back to Vati. Vinicius Rodriguez to Castellanos. Looking dangerous this for Porto. Carriage is drawn out of the defence. But I think he got a good tackle in. And it fell to Musa, who found Cardos. Muset picks it up, into the box, shoots, good save from Rudine. And we have a corner, which is very, very good. Uh, it's been a pretty action-packed game, to be honest. It falls to Halberg on the edge of the area, into Takax. Takax can't turn, but that's the end of that highlight. And it's somehow gone to a free kick to us down the other end. We're just ticking over the hour mark, so Muset heads it to Cardos. Cardos brings it forward, Sancho. Sancho shoots, it hits Cardos, and he manages to get onto the... Deflection in tries to put a ball in, falls to Halberg on the edge, back out to Cardos. Cross is blocked and Blazic picks it up into Halberg. So you can see Gleasing isn't pushing forward as much, which is good because he always then defends Rodriguez. Uh, we've got a free kick though. Sancho will surely hit this. He does, it goes over the bar. We're playing very, very well. I'm a bit concerned about Takax's fitness because he is actually winning a lot of headers and keeping us in this. DCC is cleared. Halela with a great tackle on Rodriguez. Sancho knocks it back to Takax, all the way back to Halela. DCC again into Halberg. Halberg to Blazic. That short passing and retaining the possession is working well. Gleasing's made an attacking run on the outside to Halberg on the edge. Shoots deflected wide. 
we're playing really, really well. I don't know why I should be surprised. I thought Porto were really good. DCC with a header. He's nodded it wide. Probably should have it looked like he should have done a little bit better, to be honest. Sancho picks it up, and here we come again. Cardos brings it forward. Ball in. Mousset. Oh, he should have squared it back to Cardos, but it would... He was aiming for a corner, I think, Sancho there. But he's let it run out. It's gone for a throw. And obviously nothing came from it. But Porto are coming again. They've really gone a lot more attacking now. They've changed to the actual attacking 4-2-3-1 wide. But I'm still confident that our formation is more than capable of dealing with them. Our fullbacks aren't pushing up at all, which means we're not really susceptible to a counter-attack. And we're just passing it around really well and keeping the ball into Blazic. Blazic into Sancho. Cardos is there, but he gives him the ball. Well, you cannot argue with that. 14th goal of the season, scored from the edge of the box. This is an absolutely outstanding performance from the team. And I am delighted. I'm tempted to rest to Cax now, according that we've got... I mean, he's at that first time on his left foot. I'm not too sure why Sancho did a little, little pass like that to him. And he runs off doing the old chicken man. I think I will rest a cack so he's on 60% fitness. But we'll just wait for this highlight to pass out. We'll have another look in the pro zone as well, as that's an absolutely terrible shot. Uh, Endoram is going to come on, as that also saves to Cax, who's on a yellow card. So we're going to have a quick look into pro zone. We will, we're still looking at crosses for some reason. So let's take that off. Right, let's see if they are upping their position at all. So, oh yeah, I don't like the way it always includes subs, isn't it? They haven't really changed anything to do with their tactics. It's still mainly lopsided on this left-hand side, which oh, maybe we don't exploit the right anymore. I'm going to take that off, I think. I'm going to... I could drop Gleasing back a bit further. I'm going to drop the wingers back onto a support inside forward mode, just so they're not always bombing up the pitch. They'll give a bit more help to the full-backs. Fitness-wise, we're doing okay. Blazic could probably do with a little rest. Um, I mean, we're four 0 up. I shouldn't. I'm not, I, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Ivan Tlaud's going to come on. He can't really do the roaming playmaker role. He was sitting there as a deep line playmaker. Again, a few less people running forward is never a bad thing. So let's crack on. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying this sort of new approach where you actually see what I do in pro zone and what I look at and what I think is the most useful things to look at as Mousset shoots a great save from Rudine in goal there but yeah let me know do you prefer the two game episodes where I sort of just rush it on key highlights or do you prefer this where it's extended highlights one game but you'll see me go in and out of pro zone a little bit more um I call it pro zone I think it's called stats now isn't it on this one it's they couldn't use the pro zone name but here come Porto Kassam oh great tackle from Lella and then he's lost it and then won it again uh, he's done really well there, really well. I think we're going into the last, what's this, 10, 8 minutes or so. So let's just, we'll drop him back onto, what can what does he prefer? He actually prefers to be more, slightly more attacking, so we'll leave him like that if he's comfortable doing it. Um, good tackle from Halberg on Vicentius Rodriguez. I said I wouldn't say his name and I keep trying to say it. Cardos, block shot and a corner. Sancho with the ball in and Rudine takes it well. Well, Atletico Madrid are top and I'm not too sure why. Is it three? Is it 4-0 in their game as well? Maybe it is 4-0 in their game as well. Um, oh, it's 5-1. So we've both got a four-goal deficit, a four-goal differential, but they've scored more, so I think they go top. Dillamy warm, great catch. Absolutely great catch. Not really missing Nicola Bacola at all. To be honest. Let's bring the man, the legend, Lice Mousset off. We'll give Andre Green a run. He prefers to be a winger. He can sit as a winger on support. Can he actually do you like playing back here? Yes, you do. So we'll do that. We'll be a little bit lopsided. Again, give a little bit of help to the right hand side. It's only five minutes to go. I'm not too concerned, to be honest. Just give him a bit of a game time in the Champions League. Something I'm pretty sure he's never done with Aston Villa or Fulham. So it gives him that experience, which is good. Carriage then, with a ball to Sancho, this is probably going to be the end highlight, unless we can nick a fifth, which would be wonderful. Cardos, into the box, shoots just wide. I think that will be the last real noteworthy thing in the game, as there's 20 seconds left. Halal into Sancho, Sancho brings it forward. Tackled, but Ender Rams there, just to clear anything up. Halberg, Halald, back to Halberg. And Green's there, he was trying to put a first time cross in towards Cardos, but it was intercepted and there we go, 4-0 what a performance that is absolutely outstanding 
and I'm not going to hold back in my praise for the guys. That was truly superb, and it makes a mark, doesn't it? It gives a signal of intent of what we want to do this year, which is really, really good. So Sancho gets man of the match, two assists, one goal, and a 9.4 rating. I'm going to say he was quality with the number of chances he made, which was really good. Z Ricardo was looking at Rudine Paolo, 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 and Junior for his next Brazil squad, and Primoz Guida was there as well. Ah, an update on Slovenia. It hasn't gone brilliantly for them, if I'm honest. Um, their last two games, they lost to Scotland and drew with Poland. Managerless Poland. So, it's, uh, yeah, hopefully, I, you know, I don't want to wish a nation to be bad, but a few more bad results and he could be on his way out the door. If we look at the job centre, um, I've restricted it to only ones that are available. Oh no, it's job security I want, that's the one I want. I've limited it to national teams only. He was secure. He was very secure before. He was one of these down here. Those two last results have changed him to stable. So, you never know. There may well be a little tangent series coming off this soon. If Primoz Gilead gets sacked, I'm throwing my hat into the ring for a chance to be the Slovenia manager. It's what I've always wanted to do as part of this save. So, it'd be really good to do it. But, we'll leave it there. We'll, we'll be back for the Atletico Madrid game. And we've got Olympia Ljubljana and Selge in between that and Kirk and Nova Mesto. But a wonderful performance from the boys there. A really good performance. Can't ask for more than that. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like. I'll chat to you guys in a bit. I'm out. Cheers.